Okay, next one up, thermal bridging, cold room roofs. Um, I did a couple of videos. I got quite a few questions and comments, I think about four or five, in reference to the cold roof design. Um, yes, I was in... I was involved in a design roof for a thermal bridging problem um, on a cold roof and um, the roof was destroying itself every five years. So basically, I'm looking at my notes now, so basically what, we're, uh, what we were talking about on this one is it was 70 below zero inside this um, cold room facility. It was a company that uh, flash freeze their product after it was produced and um, got it ready for transport. They would freeze it down to 70 below zero. They had um, roofing contractors that were replacing this roof like every five years. And the reason why they were doing that was because this thing was literally destroying itself from the inside out. And they used to cut down icicles with chainsaws after hard rains um, inside this 22 foot height ceiling um, inside this warehouse. Um, so I told them when I came out there, I said, hey, why are these roofs destroying itself? We need to find out. So to make a long story short, um, I'm gonna give you two examples. One, which I'm not gonna really go into right now, but thermal bridging, I don't know if anybody understands this is gonna be pretty advanced, but you know, if you put on isocyanurate board or you put on a dens deck and you gotta fasten it down with three inch plates, you're gonna have like 30 of them, you know, every, every square, depending on what wind code you're in. We're in Florida, so we have a lot of them. In fact, when we did Orlando International Airport, we had like about 80 per, 80 per 100, per 100 square feet. And we were literally all metal underneath that roof when it was set, set, all said and done with the three inch plates. So if you can only imagine um, you have 30 fasteners, you have these plates and you have the cap sheet that's right over top the plate, the plate is gonna get to a certain temperature underneath the cap sheet in the sun. Um, the ISO sanyard board is going to be a completely different temperature. Now, if you don't think that's a problem, it is in some instances. But in this case, it wasn't the only problem. When we went inside the roof, um, underneath the roof deck where it's 70 below zero, we, would, um, we found that the lights, these halogen lights that were the size of literally basketballs, um, when you hold them in your hand, they were attached to the bottom underside of the roof deck. And they would heat this 70 degree temperature up around these lights to almost 10 to 12 to 15 degrees. Variant, it varied in certain areas, but if you are at 15 to 20 degrees in certain areas and 70 below zero in other areas, that ain't going to work. And that's basically what was destroying the roof. So by getting these roofs, um, get this new roof installed and getting the lights lowered to the middle or, or down from the roof deck, significantly is going to help the design of the new roof system which is getting ready to be installed. Hopefully I'll be able to bring videos when the installation starts to take place and um, we can go through some more questions. But if you have anything specific about cold room installation as far as um, thermal bridging or some of the other questions, hit me on email for the technical and we'll be more than happy to try to get some information to you. Peace and love.